Today we're going to change out this plug, which is a single plug, to a two gang. And there's always somewhere in your house that someone sits and they have everything charged into it. We're going to do two USB USC plugs in this location. So, lots of times in people's bedrooms now, by their bed, I always put a two gang in. And this is a really a nice two gang cut in box that self-adjusting for up and down and my guys down at trim um, hooked me up with this box this is designed for an after work cut in situation like we're going to do today a two gang is a double box so it's going to take two receptacles this particular box down here is a single gang it takes one receptacle this one is a two so there's spots for two receptacles and this kit from Home Depot has two USB USC plugs so that's the plan I'm going to show you how to get this out and hopefully it all goes well and there'll be no wall damage no wall repair by the time we're done and if you're a homeowner shut the electricity off this particular plug the homeowner has all his stuff plugged in here so I'm going to make it a two gang. So there is some wire here in and out and it looks like there's a plug tied into the outside here too. So there's three wires here. Once again I'm not sure which one hot is but you can see there's a load on this thing because it was sparking up pretty good. I'm going to put tape on all three block wires once again, I'm doing it hot, folks. Please, if you're a homeowner and you're afraid of getting a shock, shut the power off. So we have three wires here already. I'm trying to get this crimp off without having to cut the wires. Got it off. This is a in out and there's a receptacle out here so that's why we have three wires here three ground wires three hot wires and three neutrals there's three sets of wires here okay so the first thing i have to do is figure out which side the studs on so the stud is actually on this side a little bit of drywall here So the stud is on this side, and this is a nail-on box. So I got the two nails out. So the nails are hanging up a little. I'm going to just... Yeah, I'm going to be cutting in a bigger box here. So let me bend these wires in here. Let me go get my drywall saw. I'll be right back. wires once again one of these is hot so just be careful there we go okay we have three sets of wires here 
One is hot, so I'm going to open up three holes here in this box. Just feed my wires in. Once again, we do have a hot wire here, so just be careful. Tight. It's good and tight. All the wires are in there properly. Good and snug, not going anywhere. Tighten up the grounds, trim this back a little, get a new collar on there, it's called a ground crimp, crimp it on there, just squeeze it good, and that's made up, but I want to tuck it way back there. But looking at these plugs, each one needs a ground wire. I'm gonna pigtail two grounds off there. I'm gonna make some pigtails here so that I have two grounds. Come on out of there. So I'm just going to take these because I need two grounds, one for each new receptacle. I'm just going to put a wire nut on that. And tuck that in the back of the box. Now I got my two grounds and this is in the back of the box. Now I make up my neutrals. I make up the neutrals on a hot circuit. I always make up my neutrals first and my hots next. And you saw when I was taking apart the hots, there's some power draw down the line. So, and then this is going to be a little bit bigger because I know I need to pigtails, two neutrals for our new plugs. So I'm going to make up, so we're going to have five wires under one wire now. So 
So, just twist them in there. And then, got one more to twist in there. And tighten it up. Trim the end. Good and tight. Nice laid in job. Got my wire nut, my 3M wire nut. Good and tight. Now I'm going to make up my hot wire. So this is going to be hot. Let me tuck the grounds out of the way. I'm actually going to give me a little bit more wire here. When you're doing three or four, even five wires, the longer you have the wire to twist, I say, wow, Mike, you got a lot of wire in there, yeah? Don't worry. So, these two are the hot ones, I assume, and there's a load on them. Oh, no. You saw that little load. So you just twist them loosely until you get all the wires twisted in. Don't twist them really tight yet. Come on out of there. A little bit longer than you would, because I'm going to trim it down. But when you get it longer like this, one at a time, you see where the lines are, just lay it in there. Don't tighten it up yet. Lay the next one in there. Now this is hot. I'm doing this hot now. So now I just want to tighten it up. Getting tight, trim it, and get my good wire nut on there. Good and tight. Okay, so we're gonna fold this one in here. Now these USBs are pretty big, but this box is really nice and deep. I really like this box. So, Here I am installing the ground wire. I'm doing a loop on it around the ground. A little clamp there. Get the ground wrapped around. It's a little long there. You always put it around so that the when you tighten it up, it tightens up the screw. I mean the wire around the screw and doesn't push the wire off the screw. So yeah, this is your neutral, your white, and here's your hot. So these have little compression, I mean, yes, plates there so that'll tighten down on the wire once you tighten it up. Get it good and tight. Here's the black one. So let me get the other one on. And this USB, USC. So what? Again, you turned it left. Yeah. So it can screw on when you. Tighten when you it tighten down. it down, it tightens up on the wire, and it doesn't push the wire off. Good and tight. Here we go with the white and the red. Once again, we're doing this hot, folks, because. Besides everything else, I like a little shock now and then. 
you see this once I hit it there's a little spark there I think it's just the transformer or electronics in there I'm sure in the paperwork it says to do it to power off but if you've listened to me at all you know we go we go baby Thank <laughs> you.